Alright, this is Tim Bauer Golf, and in today's review we're going to go over the Axe Glow E3 Follow Golf Cart. We're going to review how it folds and unfolds, how it fits in your car, and I have a car, SUV, and a pickup truck for comparison. Comparing it to other standard push carts, remote control features, and does it help your golf game. So stay tuned. Alright, let's start with how it folds and unfolds and how it fits into three different types of cars. So the first truck I'm gonna show you is the Ford Maverick, which is a small pickup truck. Then we got the Acura MDX, and we have a five series BMW. I would say between these three cars, folding and unfolding into your uh, trunk, you'd get a pretty good idea if this is gonna fit into your vehicle at home. Alright, to unfold this thing, there's one lever here and one lever over here. Simply lock it, then make sure this is open here. Just like that. Easy enough. Alright, so between the three cars, I'd say they all fit pretty comfortably. If you have anything smaller than a 5 Series BMW, I'd say that this would probably have to fold and go into the back seat because it is generally tight. But plenty of space in the large SUV and plenty of space in the pickup truck. Now between the four foldable push carts here, this one clearly folds up more compact than this one and this one. This is a really low end type of push cart. This is the first one I got when I was in seventh grade. I then upgraded to this one over here, which I got on Amazon. And then I got this one over here uh, for one of my parents who I often play with. And this one is just a lot nicer, has better straps, better storage, this thing is much better. This one over here is very bulky. I don't really like it. This one's it's kind of hard to open. And these straps aren't the best. Now, when fitting two of these push carts into my pickup truck, I can certainly fit the Axe Glow and this one because it folds up a lot nicer. But this one over here is a lot bulkier and is definitely a tight fit when I had to fit these two plus two golf bags into the pickup truck. Now areas that I think the Asclo stands out from the rest, first being its storage compartment. Super deep compartment, could fit my phone, uh, my golf glove, camera if I wanted. Now compared to this one over here, very thin, just two golf balls, not a huge fan. What Asclo did really well, especially on the like staff bags, is that it has a nice place for it to fit in. The only downside to this style of cart is it does 
fit the staff bags a lot better. When you have a stand bag like this, these things do get in the way. It's not the end of the world. It's not something that I would not pick up the axe glove for, but I made the switch to a newer staff bag and it fits a lot better. And I think it's really sharp in the all white. You can see it doesn't really sit all that flush and when you have the staff bag it rests really nicely. As far as price goes the Axe Glow comes in at $1545. Some of the competitors like the MGI Navigator is $1850. The MGI Zip All Terrain is $1595. The lower end MGI Zip is $795. Bag Boy and they make the Vault and that goes for $14.95 and then Bat Caddy at $7.99. Now $15.45 may seem like a lot of money to most, but here at Beth Page, a electric golf cart to ride in goes for $30 a round. Now if you do $30 divided by $15.45, that's about 51 rounds of golf where you would break even on this product. Personally I think this product in terms of walk-in, if you want to get into walk-in, I think you actually lower your score a bit versus riding. Me personally I have a bad back and when I walk I tend to play better because I loosen up. I played Beth Page Black and I'll go over my experience before and after with the golf cart with some video clips. Alright, so one of the best features that I like about this golf cart versus all the competitors that I was looking at is this remote. So it's got a joystick which is really easy to use. You can press up twice and it holds the speed. But most importantly, follow mode. So this is a little puppy dog icon. You press follow and the thing works beautifully. 
I actually loved how I could just one click put this in my pocket and start walking towards my ball and the golf cart just graciously follows me along I would say probably 20 25 feet behind me and this thing does exactly what I need and more but look how easy it is to move the joystick I think it's a lot better than just pushing 15 yards 20 yards and 50 yards ahead and Honestly, the turn-in radius on this thing is sharp. All right, so I use this product on three separate occasions. First, I used on Beth Page Yellow, which is mostly flat. I then played 18 holes of golf at Beth Page Blue, and then I played nine holes of golf at Beth Page Black. Now, comparing this versus my experience when I played Black with just a normal push cart it is night and day. So I played Black Twilight twice now, and the first time I played, I used just a normal push cart, and it was kind of miserable. I was so tired, the next day, I slept the entire day. I used this, same nine holes, front nine, and it felt like I didn't even walk. Pushing that 45 pounds up a steep incline, down an incline, it is, it is miserable, especially on your calves. So this product alone, just from that nine hole experience, was totally worth it. Scoring wise, I actually scored a lot better while using this product. So I never want to push ever again. On the nine holes that I played on black, I actually shot five strokes better using this. When I played nine holes on yellow, usually I shoot around like a 45, and I shot a 41 that day, so I shot four better. On blue, normally I shoot around a 100, but when I was using this, I shot a 90, so I shot 10 strokes better. My handicap is a 17, and my anti-handicap is around the 22 to 24, so I do have a lot of bad days, but I can safely say within an 18 hole round of golf, this will save you between five and eight strokes, without a doubt. All right, now let's touch upon the battery. So the battery does take six hours to charge. Through the nine holes of golf at Beth Page, it only took two hours to recharge and I would say this product would probably get closer to like 45 holes of golf if it was on like dead flat when I'm comparing it to Beth Page Yellow. I'd be comfortable taking this out for two rounds of golf Friday Saturday for, for black even with the hills. With the, the speed when it said it was like a 9.0 shot right up the really steep inclines going down it does uh, vibrate in the controller if it is getting like off target and it recorrects itself pretty easily so I never had the bag fall and I tried my hardest to make it fall I still couldn't get to, uh, to tip over it doesn't have like a fifth wheel or anything but I would safely say it's never gonna tip so it does come with the standard accessories, cup holder, nice hook to put your, your cooler, umbrella, and this neat phone holder, which I have a Samsung Galaxy Ultra, probably one of the biggest phones you can get, and with these rubber uh, pieces here, it's just fine. Now if you're someone like me who likes to film yourself play, I really like the umbrella holder because I'm able to mount my camera here and then I could just point it towards the target of where I'm filming. It actually makes filming a lot easier with the remote in my pocket. I'm able to position the, the camera just perfectly to get into frame. Alright, so there you have it. That's a review on the Axglow E3 follow push cart. I would say hands down one of the best products ever used. If you're in the market for a electric cart, you have to get the follow feature. I think for $1,500, I 
for the money spent this is the best priced and the best quality product you're gonna find on the internet not to mention the fact that I did play better while using the, the follow feature and just focusing on walking the golf course and honestly I think it's a lot more fun to walk than it is to ride considering when riding you are paying $30 every time this summer I played over 35 rounds of golf, so the break-even point is almost there for the Axe Glow. I hope you enjoyed this review. Stay tuned for more.